Welcome everyone to the webinar today. My name is Q Mangus. I'm the Director of Product Marketing here at Guava and I'd like to welcome you out. Um, so today we're going to talk about uh, the Retain Advantage. I, I have some items that we're going to discuss and i um, glad you can all be here. Just for you all to note, the first thing we're going to discuss is a little bit of some challenges with archiving and some of the regulations that are out there, just so that you're all aware of what you could be facing here in this current climate that we have when it comes to uh, electronic communications. Then we're going to talk about um, the increasing demand for archiving. Um, we'll touch on a better approach to archiving with Retain. And then we'll talk a little bit about some tools that we have to help you with a migration, whether that's an email or an archive migration. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, before we do that, I did forget to mention one thing. If you do have any questions, um, we will have some time at the end of this presentation to answer them. So uh, if you have any questions as we're going along, feel free to put those through in the chat um, or the Q&A, and uh, we'll be sure to to touch on those at the end. So, uh, all right. To begin this presentation, I want to talk about some of the concerns that many of our customers have expressed to us or where other archiving solutions fall short and do not meet their archiving needs. Um, as you can see here on the screen, here's some of the main concerns and challenges that have been expressed to us um, with some other tools that are on the market. Um, lack of e-discovery tools or easy discovery tools. Um, the lack of the inability to export to PDF, so uh, taking messages and being able to export them in a, in a searchable PDF. Um, accessibility, meaning having users, end users, um, different named users, having that, giving them access to the archive. Um, this audit trail. So an archive needs to have an audit trail to be able to monitor actions completed in the archive. Um, without it, there's an extra burden on IT to recover electronic communications. Um, of course, also the ability to provide different rights, as I stated a little bit before. Rights to access the archive for end users, and then rights to access other teams like HR, legal, or the e-discovery team. Also, having an archive that supports multiple email platforms and other collaboration tools. Having something where you can access all your communications from one central location. Really a concern out there. You don't want to have to be searching multiple different solutions, multiple locations to be able to access your archive. And then, of course, there's this case of single instant storage. Um, you know, with some recent changes, especially to like uh, Microsoft Exchange, uh, single instance storage is no longer supported, um, and other there are archiving tools that also don't support single instance storage. So, you know, what does that do? It increases your data storage volumes exponentially, and of course, your hardware costs if you're um, on-prem will be they, those will be driven up. Um, and so, really, the idea here is that there are frustrations. You know, everybody knows that you need to archive. It is something you have to do. Uh, electronic communication archiving is required by law, and we'll get into that a little bit, but you have to do it. So because of that, everyone needs to deploy an archiving solution. But there are issues and concerns with archiving, and that's what we're going to discuss today and how to alleviate those concerns. So moving along, you know, we talked about how archiving is required by law. Well, really what happens is there's a lot of regulations regarding archiving. Some of them are listed here on the screen. Um, and what these archive or what these regulations are really saying now in today's, like I said, in today's atmosphere is that you need to archive more than just email. Um, you need to be archiving your social media, your mobile communications. You have to have that archiving. Um, you know, these regulations outline that. And as you probably have come across, many of the archiving tools on the market, and maybe a tool that you're using, only archives email. Or if they possibly do archive other communication, like social media mobile, it's probably done via another add-on product. Or maybe it's a separate product, so you have to search two different things. It's, that's simply not enough. Um, 
it makes your life overly complicated and it makes things more difficult, um, especially if you have an e-discovery request. I mean, imagine trying to go across different solutions in different locations and different archives um, to produce everything that's needed in a court case. So really what you need is a unified approach to archiving. You need something where you can archive everything in one central archive and access it there. And that's what we'll talk about here. We're going to talk about uh, the Retain Unified Archive. So that's the point here. Retain archives more than just email. It archives email, social media, and mobile. And all of that is archived in one central archive. So what does that mean? That means that there's multi-platform unified message archive. So if you have multiple email systems, as you can see here on the screen, um, retain archives, multiple email systems. And we'll get into that a little bit more. Um, you have archiving of that, and then you have e-discovery and publishing of that archive. So what does that do? It will help you reduce your costs. It will manage your complexity and mitigate risks. And the solution can be deployed on-prem or in the cloud. And as I stated before, a concern is the easy ability to access the archive. Well, with this unified archive, there's a web interface so that you can access it directly from the web, or you can access it directly from Outlook and be able to search and uh, perform e-discovery right from that tool. And with Retain, you can grant individual user rights, so different people can access their own archive, and you can give different named users access to different parts of the archive. Um, if you want like uh, an e-discovery or legal team, they can access the archive. You can grant them rights. So the idea here is that no matter what collaboration system you're using, uh, Retain will archive it. Um, and because of that, and because everything is archived in one central location, um, you can easily and quickly perform e-discovery. You can be sure that you're compliant with uh, government regulations, and you can avoid these risks of the misuse of collaboration tools. So let's go a little deeper and talk in detail about the email, and then we'll talk about social and then mobile. Um, <clears throat> As I stated before, uh, retain archives single or mixed messaging platforms, meaning that you can view your Exchange, Office 365, Gmail, and or GroupWise archive from one seamless interface. So easily and quickly you can be able to access those, those uh, different types of emails. So if you're running Exchange in one location and you're running Gmail in another, that doesn't matter. Retain will, will integrate with both of those, and we'll be able to archive them into one central archive. And once again, as I stated, administrators, record managers, or other authorized users can view a single message, or they can see an entire message string. So they can go back, and you can they can do searches depending on their rights. And there are regulatory tasks that can be performed, such as litigation holds, uh, printing messages, forwarding, saving, redact and exporting. And of course, as we talked about before, Retain does provide you a single instance storage, uh, meaning that your the archive, the size of your archive will be greatly reduced. And you know, we've seen that hardware costs are reduced by easily 30% or more. And finally, as I stated before, there's the Web Access Archive Viewer. So, and we'll look at that in just a minute. Basically, it's an email-like browser-based interface with powerful search tools. So that, and from that interface, you can easily locate messages. Um, you can export data, and uh, there's even the ability to take a, a search. And we'll talk about this in a minute. But to take a search of like a subset of your archive and export it to a standalone archive viewer. And with this archive viewer, you can actually, it's portable, so you put it on a thumb drive or a, or a CD and give that to a separate team. And it's standalone, so they can search that without having access to retain to the archive. So they can just have access to what you need them to have access to. And from that archive viewer, they can perform redaction, um, they can print, export to PDF right from that standalone viewer. So just another way to make it easy for you to be able to search and publish your archive. 
And then um, with Retain, there's also another piece called Retain Social. And currently, Retain Social archives Facebook and Twitter. And shortly, there, with an upcoming release that will come out soon, there will be uh, archiving for LinkedIn and Yammer. Um, so really, with social media, we kind of got you covered. The major social media communications tools that you ha that are out there will be able to archive them for you. And what's great is that the, ar the messages are archived in context. Um, you'll be able to see a message string. So if somebody is communicating via Facebook, say they're using the Facebook Messenger and they're talking across, they'll be, we'll be able to take that message string and archive it. So you'll be able to see the context of it. And then. Um, with instant message communications, once again, we're coming in an in a upcoming release. We will archive Link 2010 and 2013, Google Talk, uh, Yahoo Messenger IM, and uh, AOL Instant Messenger. Um, so once again, having you covered with your instant message communications. Um, really, the idea here is to have all of your electronic communications archived, be able to easily access them, and uh, and one other concept here is by having an archive system, you're creating a record, which in turn protects your employees in your organization. So for example, if there's allegations that or accusations that are unfounded, you can verify whether or not that happened. Um, if an employee is accused of some sort of wrongdoing, you can clear that employee as well because you have record of what happened and what was actually said, all within the thread of the conversation. And of course, if there is bad behavior, if people are using these social media tools in your organization and communicating inappropriately, you have evidence of that as well. You can enforce policies because you have a record of it. Um, and you can encourage appropriate communications and deter inappropriate behavior because you can let everyone know that all their stuff's being archived. <laughs> so they need to make sure that they uh, conform to your policies. And finally, the, the final piece I wanted to talk about when it comes to Retain is uh, mobile. Retain Mobile um, archives SMS, MMS, and phone call logs for Android, as well as uh, BBM, PIN, SMS, MMS, and phone call logs for uh, BlackBerry. And soon, uh, once again with an upcoming release, there will be archiving of iOS as well. So really we know that uh, mobile communication, such as text messaging, is a preferred way for your employees to communicate. You know, it's just growing exponentially. Um, so if you don't have the ability to archive mobile communications, you're not going to be compliant. You're going to be, there's going to be a hole <laughs> in your archiving solution. Um, because you need to be able to archive these, these type of communications and quickly produce them in case of litigation or e-discovery. Um, and then, of course, it's just, it's just a good thing to do, uh, meaning especially if you're issuing corporate-owned devices, you need to be able to make sure that your employees aren't doing things that they shouldn't be. And being able to archive that and have it seamless to your users is something very important. Um, and then, of course, with BYOD, you're covering yourself as well. And this should be part of your overall policy set, meaning if you're allowing BYOD, you need to be able to let your employees know that you're going to archive their, their communications. So um, a two-sided thing there. But just be aware that that is something that is essential in your uh, overall archiving plan. And then, um, so here, this screen here is an example of the Web Access Archive Viewer. <clears throat> so one item to note is that end users and any authorized users can access the archive from any web device. Um, and as you can see from the screenshot, uh, the Retain UI looks like an email client. All the folders and messages in the folders are replicated directly from the email system. Um, so really, when a user goes into their archive, they're going to look at it, and it's going to look like it's going to look familiar to them. It's going to be easy for them to browse through their messages and find an archived message. And what's great is that an end user can can restore a message themselves. 
Um, so that's going to reduce a bur your burden on IT because they're not going to be, you know, your users aren't going to be burdening IT with this with requests for, you know, can I get this email restored? I, I accidentally deleted an email. Where is it? Um, they have access to their archive, and you can just point them there. And there's other things the user can do as well. Um, they can search their own archive, um, and you can grant them different rights depending on what you'd like them to have, like forward, um, export. You can do that as well. And then, of course, um, <clears throat> different authorized users have the ability to place litigation holds, um, forward messages, um, that those type of things can be done directly from the archive. <clears throat> and then here we have a view of a typical search. <clears throat> it's very important that you can search. And this is one of the things that makes retain different. And when we talk about the retain advantage, this is one of the major things we like to talk about, is the idea that you can, from one central archive, search the entire archive, meaning if you're archiving these mobile messages, and you're archiving email, and Twitter, and Facebook, all the things that we talked about that you can archive, if you need to go back and search, you know that a communication had happened, but you don't know how it happened, you can quickly and easily do a search and see from one central archive what all the messages. Uh, for example, on this screen you can see there's an example of a search that happened, um, appointments were pulled over, some SMS messages were pulled over. Uh, um, some BlackBerry Messenger messages were, came over, a phone call log, email, etc. So you're able to see everything from one central search. And as I stated before, now from this search, you could export this to the standalone viewer. You can. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do from here. You can forward different messages. You could restore. You could print the what you found, um, and you know, and then export to PDF. In other words, there's many things you can do from this search. So once again, the idea here is to have a unified archive and to be able to search and perform all these e-discovery things to make you prepared for litigation. And that is truly the better approach to archiving with Retain. Now, so now that we talked about Retain and how it gives you a better approach to archiving, you're probably thinking about how you can make the switch. Um, how do you migrate that data? So we've been, a, we've been helping customers for years be able to migrate their data. We've been able to take um, and integrate your current email system with the Retain Archive. You can move, move email systems with Retain. Um, so really, that's the idea, is that with Retain, you're able to quickly and easily move email systems if you're ready to make that move. You can pull over archive information as well. And there's professional services that we offer and migration utilities to help you be able to have the best fit for your organization. And so to just sum everything up about what we talked about, um, with Retain, it archives all communications. Um, if you don't choose Retain, <laughs> you can choose to invest in another separate solution for email. You could spend an, on another solution that handles social media and then have a third solution for mobile. However, with Retain, you can have one investment that archives everything. You can do email, social media, and mobile and then it has policy-based archiving, and you can be able to quickly search that archive and protect your organization. So if you'd like more information about Retain, or if you'd like to try it out for yourself, feel free to, to uh, visit guava.com slash retain. If you'd like a quote um, on how this would work for you, the pricing for you, feel free to visit guava.com slash quote, or feel free to contact us at questions at guava.com. And here's a quick sampling of some of our customers. As I stated, um, you know, we 
support a wide range of organizations all over the world. There are many industries, including government, education, health care, financial, legal, and corporate. And Guava has been around for over 12 years, and we've supported thousands of customers in over 60 countries. And once again, I'd like to invite you to experience a better approach to archiving. There's our contact information. If you have questions, feel free to put those through. It looks like we did have a few questions, and we'll address those now. Um, before I do that, I just wanted to quickly go over a couple of success stories. I won't read them, but just I'll have them up on the screen if you wanted to read those over um, while we're going through some questions. So the first question that came through is, um, how does the archiving work for social media? So I, uh, let me expound a little bit about on how this works. So social media archiving, what it does is it integrates directly with the firewall. So what we're talking about is when people are using social media in your organization. Um, so if somebody is accessing Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn, um, what will happen, or Yammer of course, it, and they're on your network. That's the idea. So as that communication is coming in or going out of your network, um, Retain will intercept it at the firewall. Retain will take that information and pull it down and put it into the archive directly at the firewall. So that's how it works. When What Retain doesn't do, this is a corporate thing, is if they're off the network or using a personal device and they're accessing the social media sites, um, we wouldn't touch that. This is for corporate, corporate use. So the idea here is that you're allowing your your uh, users to access these social media tools on your network, um, but you're protecting yourself as well by being able to archive those. All right. Let's see if there's any other questions. I'm going to switch to the success story here while we're waiting. Once again, if you have any questions, feel free to put those through in the chat or the Q&A. Okay, the other one came through is um, the iOS devices. So how do we do that with iOS? Uh, so what we do, that's a good question because um, this is a relatively new thing for us with iOS, um, and it's something that is coming out in a, in a future release. Uh, what it would do is it's secure communication. So um, we would integrate with secure communication server and be able to pull secure messages down directly via iOS. It's actually a separate um, app that you'd have on your phone to be able to communicate via text messages or communicate via secure phone calls, and then would be able to integrate with a secure server to pull down those secure um, text messages and secure, secure communications. Um, I have more information about that as well if you'd like that. Um, but yes, what's great about our archiving solution for iOS is it's not a solution where you have to tether a phone to a computer and pull messages down from that phone. It is something that does archive in real time via the secure communications. I'm going to go to another success story here if you want to read that one over. Um, all right, that looks like all the questions we have right now. If um, if you do have any other questions that we weren't able to get to or that you didn't want to ask and you want to take offline, feel free to uh, contact us. I'm going to actually throw that slide back up, our contact us slide here. Oops. Once again, if, you have any, if you'd like more information or you have any questions that we didn't address, feel free to give us a call or visit us on the web. Um, thanks again, everyone, for being here and for your interest in Retain. Um, if you have any further questions or need anything, feel free to reach out to us. And thanks, everyone. Hope you have a rest of a good day.